Hi guys, Lucy aka The Watchbox Diaries here and you guys know I love a micro brand, love delving into the new, so I've got a treat for you today. This is the Batavi Geograph and I don't know why I feel the need to say it that way every time, but I do, so deal with it? We might as well get into it, come on then. Now, for those of you who love a good story, a good background piece, um, I'm talking to many people who are Grand Seiko fans, like myself. Um, I love knowing sort of the origins of stories and like inspirations and things. So, the name Batavi actually comes from a little village um, way back when, uh, who stood up against mighty oppressors. Um, even though they knew they would never win, um, which shows incredible courage. Coining the term, micro brand, macro heart. Um, so yeah, to me, that's, that's, that's a cute story. And for people who are into that, I hope you enjoy the origin of it too, as much as I did. For those of you who really just don't care about the origin of things, um, the specs are pretty good too. The Geograph range, Geograph, Geograph, um, oh God, I'm so weird. <laughs> the range has um, quite a few options actually. So you can either have the World Timer or the GMT version, and there is an array of colors as well to suit whichever one you want. Um, I managed to get my hands on the Rose de Tafe, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments. But it's a nice, simple colourway, and I appreciate that, especially when there's so much going on on the dial. Um, you don't want it to be overpowering, unless you're into that, I guess. You're into a lot of stuff on the dial. But for me, keep it simple in terms of colourways if there's a lot of information going on. And this is the sweet spot, I think. It comes with a Swiss automatic movement, 200 metres of water resistance. For all of you people who love water, this should be sufficient for you, unless you're a crazy diver um, delving down deep. Um, I think 200 meters is sufficient. And for all of those people who love looking at the movement, it does have an open case back as well, like me. I love looking at a movement, seeing how it all works. It just literally blows my mind. Um, so yeah, I appreciate that as well. Um, and talk about sizing. The size matters and this comes in at 39 millimeters which again hits the sweet spot it has enough wrist presence that it's legible um, but it's not overpowering and over size like it's a dish on your wrist so it's going to suit a lot of people sizing wise so yeah 39 millimeters gets a big thumbs up for me so a couple of things that i really do appreciate on this watch i love a good bit of depth on the dial to make it kind of interesting. Like the Formex that I reviewed previously with those recessed numbers, it just created a bit more interest, a bit more depth going on on the dial. And this stepped dial um, on the Batavi, I appreciate with my eyes. Like, my, my eyes are happy with this view. It gives it good dimensions. Um, the same goes for the contrast of the brushed and the polished case and bracelet as well. The bracelet's really comfortable which is also an additional bonus. Um, yeah, so you've got a lot of depth going on, a lot of textures and a lot of interest for the eyes. Not only that, but the brand have, has with a lot of micro brands that I've, I've looked at recently and I appreciate this so much. It's got a quick release bracelet. I mean, why is this not standard on absolutely everything now? I still have no idea, but I, I love changing my watch straps out between the bracelets, the straps, different colours, matching my outfits. And when it's easier to do so, I find myself reaching for that specific watch a lot more than something that takes a lot longer and a lot more faff to change. So I will always, always, always point out and appreciate a watch that has a quick release bracelet. In addition, it's got push button clasps, so I'm obviously already gonna like so I kind of am struggling to find anything on this watch that I 
don't like that much or that isn't to my personal taste. Um, I think having so much on the dial could put a few people off. Um, but because for me, they've kept the colorways of this particular one so clean and simple, it's not overpowering for me. So the bracelet's comfortable. There's enough textures going on that it's interesting. It's legible, it's useful. It has water resistance. It's a great size and it comes in at 689 pounds. So again, sub 1000 with some fantastic specs with a Swiss made movement. If you have anything about this watch that you don't like, please let me know down in the comments because I would be pretty intrigued to hear. And that is it for me. Thank you very much for tuning in. As always, if you could do a girl a favor and make sure you have liked, God, I've got massive thumbs. Make sure you have liked and subscribed. That would be fantastic. And if you have enjoyed this video and my ramblings, make sure you turn on that little bell so you get notified of my future videos. Until next time, people. See ya.